if it weren't for the self-contraction, there would be no cult. At the root of cultism is the self-contraction. At the root of dramatization is the self-contraction. At the root of there being a you and a me is the self-contraction. We have to understand, Adi does, most important education relative to this and this. The self-contraction must be understood, felt, and gone beyond. It doesn't matter one iota what the result of the self-contraction is, what the... It does matter, but it doesn't matter in the sense that we... If we hadn't... If we if we hadn't got this education, if we didn't know about the self-contraction, and if we didn't have this radical practice of turning away from it, then we would have to care about it. But caring about it is more stuff more drama stemming from the self-contraction. And the radical practice is radical, radical because this turning gets rid of the self-contraction. There's no self-contraction in divine communion, in satsang. And then we can live a life of inherent rightness, of inherent God-made-ness. Adida has said from the very beginning that your life must become a relationship with him. There's nothing to work out. Look what he wrote here. If I am not devotionally recognised, then there is an enormity of world, in inverted commas, and ego self to be figured out. But let's remember, all of that is imaginary stuff. It's the dreaded gone boo, the result of the dreaded gone boo. There is no world, there is no ego self in satsang, in divine communion. That's why he says, if I am not devotionally recognised. And there are always a lot of things yet to seek and do, again, if I am not devotionally recognised. Recognition of him is liberation. And he says, if I am devotionally recognised, there is not anything to do anymore. Because there's no problem. And therefore, no basis for seeking. This has got to be our... I don't like the word experience because it implies this experiencing. This has got to be our tacit, inherent felt 
existence. It's got to become our existence. All he is asking me to do, and for anyone else who wishes to listen to him and then hear him, is to feel the self-contraction and to go beyond. If I'm wrong in this, I'm wrong in this. But this is what I do, and I am blessed beyond, beyond words. I am blessed with great happiness, already happiness. I am blessed with stillness. I am blessed, in, blessed with no seeking. I am blessed with intimacy. I say I am the body-mind. It's the body-mind that has to become the vehicle for God. We've got to get out of the way. I am passionate every day. As soon as I wake up, I turn away from this nonsense. In the morning, I turn to the agent, turn to the bridge, turn to the educator, turn to my lover. Are you feeling the self-contraction or are you dramatising the self-contraction? We have to know the difference, this or that. Dual sensitivity. Adidas went on and on and on and on about what the radical practice is. Right from the outset, from his very first talk, understanding, understanding this activity. We don't have to get rid of our patternings and tendencies. God gets rid of them. In that radical devotion, in that radical presence, in that radical turning. It's radical because it's what we do. That turning is radical because we do it in the, in the midst of click-clack, in the midst of our usual dramas. Instead of dramatizing, we turn away. We don't let, we don't allow the self-contraction to get hold of us. That's the attraction. That's why we are attractive, attracted to Adidas Samraj. He's educated us. He's given us this great alternative. He's given us this way out so we can stand alone and be God-made. I remember saying that to someone when I went into community. I've come here to be God-made. I want to be possessed by God. Nothing to do with I, it's the body mind. It's the answer to that prayer. Who prayed this prayer? Was it Augustus or I don't know? God be in my head, God be in my voice, God be in my actions, God be in my body. What more is there to say? It's the same message the same message and that big that word if if i am not devotionally recognized that's the essence of being a radical teaching if i am not devotionally recognized then there is world and self which is all imaginary, as Franklin Jones was, an imaginary character. Be lived by God. Get out of the way. Stop strangling. Stop pinching. Stop clasping. Stop grabbing. Become glued to the divine. So that's my message. It's my message because it's true. Because there's no other way 
for me to live. Yeah, truly blessed. Down, down, down.